everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Chris you breach Chris loves Lux and today is episode 13 of McGrath Mondays in today's uh, video we're gonna go over these two items that mm, really these two items that came in the mail this one is uh, the last quad to come which is floor Fantasia and the highlighter so I'm not going to talk a lot about it. I am going to shut up, remind you to subscribe, head over, head over to IG and follow me at Chris Loves Lux. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Now, it's just time for this video. So let's, let's roll into it. I'll see you at the end. All right, everybody. I'm starting to look off a little different. Normally, I just have my brows and my eyes primed. I have my brows, my base on, my my uh, bronzer on I just didn't put any blush on yet my concealers on I have a little extra powder just to catch the fallout um, the pat under eye powder so I'm ready to almost go but we're talking about two teams today today we're talking about the flora Fantasia palette that did not come and I hope I'm saying that name of the palette right the quad it did not come in last week's um, order uh, they split my order so this came last and it's not the one that was made in Italy because I'm looking on the box and it says made in the USA I was thinking this was the one that was made in Italy the reason why maybe it would have been shipped separately I don't know I can't call it the one thing you know I love Pat McGrath um, the one thing that I would agree with the critics on is the shipping needs to be tightened up um, the communication specifically, not even the shipping, because you know what? Things have come three, four weeks late for me at times, not from Pat, but just from other, other suppliers. My whole thing is the communication is the piece that is key, right? If something's going to ship separate, the expectation is that you let the consumer know that it's going to ship separate, you know? So I had no idea that this was going to come in the separate package. Some people got all three and no highlighter. Some got the highlighter and not the quad. It, it was it was a little eerie, but either way, I'm happy she's here. She is pretty. Here is the palette. This one won't stay open like the others, okay? So I'll just put that up there so you can see. She's pretty. She's pastel -y. So I put on my my scarf to kind of blend in with everything since I was wearing black so I can bring the colors out a little bit more. I'll go over the colors. I'll do some swatches. I got some very good feedback um, from a sub that asked that I do the swatches before the eye looks just so that they can see the swatch to see how it swatches and then before I actually do the eye. So I'm going to try to do that in every video. I got to remember. But today, today's a good day because I remember it. So let's just go over the names and I'll swatch at the same time. This color here is Lavendering. Oh no, I'm messing this up. Lavender Blue. Thinking of the last palette. So there's a there's a shift in there. There's pink. There's a little bit of like a lilac. You guys see that? Okay based on what you can see you can kind of see it in the in the palette as well in the pan it's a slight shift to it and then we have hue topia oh that's pretty there's a peach with a little bit of pink in it you see that gonna I hate swatching y'all because I'm terrible at it but here you go a little bit of see that right there that's gold pink gold peach okay next is Lotus Paradise it's this one right here Lotus Paradise that's a nice nice Peachy pink. I really dug my fingers in that one because it's got a lot of powder on that. And this last one here, just clean off my fingers. Iridescent orchid. Try not to pick up too much. Oh, oh my my my. 
So that's the four shades in this quad. So as I look at the shades, I'm kind of like, oh, so no out of corner smoke thing going on here. Today the look is gonna be different from any of my other looks, I believe. Because I you know me, I tend to like out of corner smoke. But it's all good. We're just gonna jump right in with my Sonia G Detail Pro. I already made a mess on the palette. And I'm gonna go right into this shade here, which is the Lotus Paradise. And it does, so you can see. It is a tad bit powdery, just a tad, so you can tell. Yeah, okay, so. Mm. So I've been watching different uh, videos, lives, etc. And you know, I I you know can understand some of the feedback or criticisms around you know the shipping, the quality. I'm not concerned about the quality. Do is the is the sticker annoying to me? Yes. Why? Because it's not straight. Not because it's a sticker there, but just because the stickers are not uniform, it's not straight. That annoys me because I like things straight. I'm that person that in their cabinets I have being structured in a specific way. Yes, I'm that person. So, uh, crooked stickers will annoy me. Will I forget eventually that is there? Absolutely. But my initial thing is really is quick, is crooked. But I do believe that this is this is a direct reflection of Pat's attempt to make. The, the production of the of the quads in the not just the production but the quality of the packaging is affected when we're trying to lower the price right so I truly believe that that is that is just it's a victim of circumstance at that point that's just what it is I I am going to go in with this shade on my other eye as well because I really don't see enough you know what? No, I'm not. I mean, I am going to do something different. I'm going to try to. I am going to build this up just a little bit because it's relatively light, pastel y almost. Just want to see how deep it can really get. I don't think it's going to get any more deeper than that. Yeah, it's not gonna get any deeper than that. This is what we're working with. Okay, all right. This is really powdery. It even, it was so powdery it got into the other shadow. I just wanna point that out. And I, I'm used to Pat's mats, okay? Cause you know, I have all of her other motherships, etc. This one, this mat is a little more powdery any of the other mats that I can remember I don't remember anything being that powdery and I use the detail pro with everything you guys see me use this all the time never seen it pick up like that before but it's not terrible it's just something to note okay now as far as the lid color is concerned um what should we do let's look and see for this particular look I am going to go in with hmm Yes. I'm going to do this lid color. We're going to do a slightly subtle look on this eye. Do a little bit more drama on this eye with the other two shades. But we're going. To, I'm going to put this color in here. And this one is Hutopia. And I'm going to use my finger for Hutopia. And we're just... We're going to put that in here. Again, there's no... really smoker shade yep I said smoker there's no smoker shade so we're going to play with this a little bit and see what happens I'm, that's it went on relatively smoothly 
as expected. Okay, that's a nice contrast. It's, it's a very light, subtle look. I am gonna go. I don't wanna pick up an e-waste product, but I am going in this corner here with the color, cause it is darker than the brighter, than uh, Utopia. So it will give the illusion Give some definition, just a little bit, to the look, to the corner. You do have to pack it on. And honestly, it has to stay here for now. For now, this has to stay like this. I know you guys are kind of probably like, really, Christine? That's it? But this is not a bad look. If you just want something light, wash a color, you have something going on here. Could I get this to be frosted a little more? I'm sure I could. You know, um, I can pat it on, pack it on, rather. I can of course wet my brush, use Maron liquid to give it a little bit of a frostier look, but I think I'm just leaving it like this. Just need to clean that up right here. With a clean brush, I just need to, there you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my classic crease by Sonia G because I'm actually gonna go in with lavender blue transition shade what yes honey whoa that's a hell of a color now I did not plan this out right so <laughs> we're gonna see how this works I like the classic crease for a little more precise, when you need precision placement of a transition shade, the Detail Pro, you can tell it's a little wider. It's a lot wider, it's almost twice the size. So it splays out more. But when I want something not to splay out, this is, this is my go-to brush when using Pat's products. I'm not adding more product, I'm just, I'm just blending. Okay, I'm just blending for now. Just blending. Okay. All right, so now, here's my other finger. We're going to go in with uh, Iridescent Orchid as my lid shade. Yep, that's what we doing. It goes with my uh, my uh, scarf, that's for sure. I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit more. just to pat it down and kind of blend it up so that it's not harsh transition into uh, lavender blue. 
so I'm really see there's barely any product left on my finger it's just me actually just blending it up and tr not pulling really just tapping so the blend just happens okay. this is different right um for somebody that loves to have a dark shade in a quad just for this is why I don't use rich, ritualistic rose as either or as much as I probably should is because if I'm not mistaken it does not I can't remember you guys you guys I am terrible at remembering I have to always open them no, I'm lying because I was using this. It's one of the palettes. It may not even be this one. I don't use that one as often anyway. But when you don't have something that can really, and you have hooded eyes like me, when you see here it drops down, you really need that outer corner to kind of help lift. That's what wings are for. You can do a wing liner or something like that, which I can't stand because I am terrible at it but we're going to we're going to figure something else out in between it I am going to go back in in that lavender and shade just a little bit literally wait can you see it that's not a lot and I am going to just put it right here because I feel like it's open it's like an open hole right there I hate pulling my face that's a terrible habit So, okay, so now I am with the preliminary look, I am done. These are the swatches. If you don't like pastel -y colors, this is not going to work for you because this is pastel. Even this, even though this is kind of like a nice pink iridescent look and even, even this lavender blue is exactly that, lavender and a bluish um uh, dual chrome because it does shift if you're not into this um, you may not like it me I can pull it off because I can put this on both eyes or this one on both eyes and so can you but if you're not into that then this may not be for you me personally I owe I, everything I have is color right I have so many scarves that have different colors in it that's why I was like oh, let, oh that's what's in the panel let me pull out a scarf you know, so technically, if I put this look on both, and it, it would blend right into the scarf. This right here, you, it gives me Divine Rose, not two, but one, Divine Rose vibes. It really does. This eye look, I can probably achieve with a Divine Rose, to be quite honest. And if it wasn't all the way up there, I would get it. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments, do you get Divine Rose um, vibes from this? I kind of do. It's like Divine Rose meets something else. Can't even figure it out yet. But yeah. So do I think you should get it? Yes. If you are okay with these colors, absolutely. freaking lootly Because you see how easy it was to blend. Even these two shades together blended very well up into the crease with literally very little product. Just my finger. This is perfect for like an everyday I'm not trying to really get all fancy with my eyes I look now I do need to finish it because right now it looks kind of plain so I'm going to be right back and finish my eyes so we can talk about this highlighter I'll be right back all right y'all I'm back okay we're going to go really quick over the rest of this stuff so we can get into this highlighter I can't wait for you guys to see this so first things first um I just had my uh, Milk Boss uh, eyeliner on, uh, the Dark Star Mascara on the top lid. I do not put it on the bottom lid because it does smudge. I have the Gigabyte on from MAC and that smudges anyway, but any that smudged today as well. But anyway, so, oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't get rid of my excess powder. 
which was my mistake. That's why I look so damn light right now. All right. So, that's all right. I did use the color um, Lotus Paradise, this color right here, on my cheeks. So, you see it a little bit right here. Right? So, it's an, it's, it actually blended in very nicely, and it was a nice, subtle cheek color um, because I don't know how this highlighter is going to operate or pop. So, um, that is what I have on my cheeks. Now, really quick on my lips is one of the new ma uh, mascaras, new uh, lips that came out with the holiday collection. This is Divine Romance. Now, yes, it's a matte. So I actually went in with two lip glosses because it's bright, y'all. It is really bright. And so I'm like, okay, let's see if I can add just a little bit of nude to it to see if it toned down. And you see it's still bright, right? But at least it's glossy bright. Um, I actually added both For Real and Flash Astral, which are my two new go-tos for toppers as well as just wearing full gloss. Um, so that's the look right now. The only thing missing is the highlighter. So let's just jump right in. So I'm going to, y'all not ready, okay? Y'all ready for that? Look at that, look at that. I right, look at the reflection, y'all can see my phone. Look at that. It's like a doggone paperweight. It is heavy, y'all. And when I open it, this, is a paperweight okay but look at that y'all see that so that y'all can see and it actually looks like two shades depending like when you take good pictures of it it looks like it's two shades but I don't believe that it is I think it's one shade and it just looks like two because they're they're angled in different ways to give that illusion but that highlighter, it I don't even want to touch it. It looks so pretty. It makes me want to buy a second one, which I won't do, I promise. But it makes me want to buy a second one just so that I don't touch it, like mess up the, um, the design. But here's a swatch. Oh, that's pretty. All right, let's, let's just see how it performs because I'm ready. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, when I find me a highlighter brush that is clean, which I don't have on uh, a clean highlighter brush, that's a problem. Um, you know what? We're going to, is this clean? Hold on. No clean highlighter brush. I'm going to, this is clean. The Cheek Pro by Sonya G. We're going to use that. Let me let me let me get up close. So here goes the highlighter. We're gonna tap a little of that off. Y'all ready? Alright. So you can see, this is a no highlighter, and this is highlighter, and it did blend right in, okay? Now, I will tell you, it picks up in chunks a little bit. You can see it there. You see the chunks? It's picking up in chunks. We're going to see what it looks like when I pack it on. It blended right into the I like the sheen it blended right into the the blush okay so now we're gonna try it with a sponge only because oh, I don't like the way this this wears is that the overspray 
No. Okay, so that's it. Dropping stuff. So let's see. Ready? We look, concentrate right here. Let's see. Ooh. That's a very, wow. In the mirror, y'all, it looked like a lot. I ain't even gonna lie. In this mirror, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop now, cause that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm gonna take an end right here that has nothing on it and just blend that in on both sides. That's bright. That's a little bright, but it's okay. I I went a little ham, and honestly, I'm looking bright because this lipstick is so bright. But but it's all good because I am going to buff with a powder. Try not to drop anything. I'm going with my pat powder. I need a little buffing. I feel bright because I had that that under eye powder on for a long, a while. Um, I'm trying to look, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you see how it wears, right? With the chunks, just so you're aware. And I was trying to see, is it an overspray or what texture is it? The reason why it picked up on a natural hair brush like that. I don't know, but those are the swatches. It's um, it's a a bright, bright highlighter. That's enough. Beautiful packaging. I'm gonna be honest. It's bright. It's pretty. Not sure how I feel about it though. Um, that Natasha Denona one. I know this is a pat video, but me being completely honest, right? Um, I think I'm thinking I might like that one better. I'm gonna have to do a, a comparison video. I don't have um, the Charlotte Tilbury yet, but I do want to do a comparison video. I have very little product in here. This is the pat powder in the medium deep four. I just want to soften, darken some of this up just a little bit. See it. That's what I use it for, because it does make me a little darker. highlighter I mean is there is there um, it says the name of the highlighter is champagne gold um, I see a lot of pink in this I'm gonna show you guys see that I don't I don't think it's named correctly my personal opinion champagne gold makes me think more champagne more yellow more gold this is pink this has pink in it see that look at that that's that's pink pink gold or rosy gold or something like that yeah champagne gold mm, i don't think this is champagne gold i think it's pink right um Maybe it's pull. No, I can't even say it's pulling pink because of my eyes. It's my. It's pulling pink even on, on the swatch. So if you think you're getting gold or gold-like, 
um, highlighter, you're not. Um, it does pull pink, okay? So and you can even see that here. It's gonna pull pink, right? It's still pretty, but it pulls pink, okay? So anyway, that's it for McGrath Monday's episode 13, okay? Um, it's 13, right? Yes. So tell me what your thoughts are in the comments. Did you pick this palette up or did you skip it? Um, did you pick it or did you skip it? Um, tell me about the highlighter. Have you gotten your highlighter yet? I know that's a whole debacle going on right now. But if you did, tell me what your thoughts are. I do love the packaging, hands down. The woman knows how to do some packaging when she do it. Now, when she decides to do something different, people are not impressed. But you want it cheaper, that's what happens, right? This highlighter is is $65, right? So you can see your $65 all up in that packaging. The, the packaging rolled up like, boom, I'm $65, okay? Um, so that's what you're getting. You're getting packaging. You're getting a nice product. I don't think it's named right, and that's me being completely honest because this ain't gold, right? It ain't even gold flex in here as far as I'm concerned. Um, but this is the look. I still like the look. I still like the palette. I'm not in love with the palette. Okay. But only because I think it's it's a tad bit limited for me personally. I can use this every day. This is work. This is this is night. This is work day. This is this is week night or date night or whatever. Um, but either way, I can still pull it together as you can see. Um, but if you were wondering which palettes to get, especially if you haven't because you're waiting for the Sephora sale, which quad, um, I, I already linked the, the video to the other, um, the, uh, my other McGrath one uh, last Monday so you can see that quad's performance. But this is where we are, you know. Um, tell me what you think down in the comments. I'm very, very interested to see how you feel about the quads as a whole. If you've gotten yours, you know, tell me, let's talk, let's chat in the comments about your thoughts. Um, as always, I appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. Your support means absolutely everything to me. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most importantly, don't forget to stay safe. Stay healthy, stay tuned, stay masked up, and get your vote in. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.